Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the channel, we feature a couple of different browsers. And in regards to this, you may have heard me say a thousand times on the channel, make sure your browser is up to date because it's your first line of defense to the online world. And in regards to this, Microsoft has posted an interesting article, which I'll leave linked in the description regarding securing the browser error from Cloud to AI, a blog series on protecting the modern workspace. And this can also be applied to your home user as far as I'm concerned. And it makes for an interesting read. I'll leave it in the description as mentioned. Now, Microsoft says, and I do agree with this, the browser has quietly become the universal workspace. And I totally agree with that. What started as a simple tool for accessing the internet, Microsoft says, has transformed into the central hub for productivity, collaboration, and now AI-powered workflows. And as you may well know, Microsoft is pushing AI and Copilot into every recess of edge that it can actually find, as we have been talking about on the channel. Now, Microsoft has said that as the browser's role has expanded, so has its exposure to risk. I also agree with that. Mentioning that attackers target browsers as the path of least resistance into critical systems. Exposing browsers to phishing, malicious extensions, data leakage, and sophisticated AI-driven attacks. Now, Microsoft says that the catalyst for the so-called, as it's called in browser boom, is artificial intelligence. It says that AI is no longer a futuristic concept. It's integrated into countless web apps, browser integrated agents to embedded automation and conversational agents directly into web workflows. Now, Microsoft says because of this, mainly the AI, the browser's attack surface has been expanded. And I do agree with that. And Microsoft has given us some of the browser's native threats and other attack vectors that organizations must protect against. And, and most of these can be applied to your average home user as well. Now, here's a list of attack vectors and native threats, according to Microsoft. The first one is phishing and social engineering. Phishing remains the dominant initial access vector for cyber attacks, according to Microsoft, and I do agree with that. Moving on to the next one, malicious OAuth and consent phishing. Malicious OAuth apps are one of the most underestimated browser native threats, Microsoft says, as they exploit legitimate authentication flows and bypass endpoint security. Next one, session hijacking, token theft. Attackers, Microsoft say, impersonate users without needing credentials by exploiting weaker links, reused passwords, ignoring warnings, weak cookie session token management, session hijacking, and social engineering. Then here's one we talk about quite a lot on the channel. Zero-day sandbox escape engine bugs, mainly focusing on zero-day. Microsoft says that modern browsers heavily sandbox web content to contain browser engine exploits, However, a sandbox escape vulnerability could let an attacker break out of the browser's confinement and can compromise an entire system. Here's another one we've spoken about on the channel. Malicious extensions, plugins, and add-ons. Microsoft says a malicious or compromised extension can bypass many protections because it already has elevated privilege inside the browser. Once again, I totally agree with that. Next up, evasion smuggling last mile reassembly. Microsoft says network level traffic inspection, URL filtering versus what the browser sees remains a gap. Persistent client side compromises, man in the browser. An attacker may use keyloggers, Microsoft says, credential stealers, session hijackers, cookie theft, form grabbers that bypass if the device and or browser profile is compromised. Click jacking and you are redress attacks. Hidden frames or overlays trick users into clicking harmful button, hidden or overlaid elements. Supply chain, trusted component compromise. Microsoft says dependencies such as compromised third-party libraries, web pages, browser extension stores, certificate authorities, misuse certificates running inside the browser can leak sensitive information. Two more to go for this video. New and expanded API surfaces and user data can add to the attack surface, as we have been discussing. And then the last one, and as mentioned, AI-integrated browsers. 
while AI integrated browsers bring productivity gains, according to Microsoft, they also enlarge the attack surface in unprecedented ways. AI powered browsers, Microsoft says, threat surface spans both cybersecurity and AI safety with new threats such as prompt injection attacks, context leakage, and data exposure. So that's just a couple of the different attack surfaces and vectors that Microsoft is mentioning in regards to the browser has quietly become the universal workspace. And because of this, those surfaces now have been increased when it comes to the exposure to risk. Now, according to Microsoft, the future is browser native. And even though browser usage has increased significantly, there's often lack of layered security controls, mainly in organizations. And that's why I always keep saying to you guys, make sure your browser's up to date. Microsoft says ignoring browser security leaves a gaping hole in an organization's defenses, and if you're a home user as well, especially when it is the gateway to all cloud services and AR. So I thought that was interesting. Check the article out, it'll be linked. So do you agree with Microsoft? The browser has quietly become the universal workspace. And because of this, we must try to better secure the browser. Let me know your thoughts down below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.